Hey friends, so it's been a while. I'm sorry if I bounce on the table. Uh, I have forgotten how to film a video apparently over the last few months, but I thought I would come on and say hi. I wanted to wait until I have popcorn in my teeth. <laughs> I can't help that, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I wanted to wait till emotionally I was ready to come back to YouTube and, and uh, give an update and say hi. And I think more than anything, my soul misses community, probably you too. Just like it's been a hard year and I'm ready for people. I am just ready for people and I miss my people. So um, I don't really have an agenda, no agenda. Just thought I would come on, I don't know how often, uh, to say hi and just interact with you guys. Just like, even if it's in the comments, um, I need that in my life and probably a lot of you do too. So I'll give you a little bit of an update since it's been, that last video was a doozy and then I just disappeared because life got really hard and I was pulled in a lot of different directions and I um, had to spend my time taking care of me and what was good for me in the moment. So that's where I've been, but I am in a new place. Have you noticed? Like, I mean, my stuff is still kind of the same. It is the same stuff. <laughs> Mine is a few new uh, furniture pieces, but I am in a beautiful apartment and uh, with my girls and who are with their dad right now. So it's nice and quiet. Um, it's just how God has moved over such a, a hard, hard time. Um, it's amazing to me. I wrote down a Bible verse that has carried me through all of this from the very, very beginning in the spring to now going into the fall months um, here in the States. But Exodus 14, 14 is what I come back to over and over again. And it, it, it says, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And I say it so much that my girls even know it. Um, but anyway, that Bible verse really has carried me because... I have wanted to act out of my own flesh so many times. And although I'm not perfect, if I come back to scripture, um, it always grounds me. So if you're asking and wondering how I'm doing, my hair is frazzled. I don't even know when the last time I put makeup on. <laughs> um, but I'm doing really good. And I'm learning to be really happy, like sitting in my apartment, having it be quiet. Uh, this is new for me. And it's hard. I'm learning how to just uh, be with me and like it and enjoy that time. And I actually am sitting here writing down a list of all the things, all the dreams, all the passions that are in my heart. Uh, I don't think my business is going to look anything like I thought it was going to be. I actually got a job after 16 years. We sold our house. Uh... It took two months to even get an offer on our house. It was a really hard um, trying time on top of a trying time. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that, but we got uh, four offers and the market in Oregon is just bananas. So we, we sold our house, we moved in, I moved in August. I accepted a job uh, the same day that we got those offers, the same weekend on our house. And it was just a, a kind of, an out there job. My resume uh, just pretty much had mom duties on it because that's what I've done for the last 16 years. I mean, like I've hung out with you guys, but there's nothing. <sighs> I've been a mom. <laughs> and so I put things like uh, chauffeur and cook and maid and homeschool mom and all these things. Anyway, they hired me long story short out of a lot of people that applied because they liked my personality. That's what they said. I asked them, why did you hire me? I was trying to talk them out of hiring me in my interview. Um, anyway, it, it helped me get into this apartment. It was an amazing thing. It lasted six weeks until uh, it just became too much to juggle being a mom, being a stay-at-home mom, being a homeschool mom and working, even if it was part-time outside of the house. So the fires hit in Oregon not to just totally throw everything at you at one time, but the fires hit in Oregon. Uh, we were evacuated and we had to leave 
our spots four times over a two week period, uh, just because the fires, it, it was it was extremely scary. Thank you for praying for Oregon and California and Washington. I don't know where there's other fires. I'm sure there are other fires, but um, like our teachers were, some teachers we know and friends were a mile away, a mile away from the fire. Uh, someone's property was surrounded, oof, surrounded by flames um, around their house and then their house in the middle was saved by the firefighters. Amazing humans. Uh, I don't know if our firefighters didn't have enough help or what, but they got tired and our, our local fire departments and they were told to disband. And so many incredible humans uh, from our communities, in our community, around our community, uh, went up and just faced those fires. And so we are just now, this was our first full week home after being evacuated. So it just kind of, we can look at it as it being one thing after another, or we can look at it as how are we going to grow from this? And that's exactly my attitude is, is how are we going to grow? So, um, it was a busy summer for us. The girls are doing good. I, on top of it, had to make a really hard decision if I was going to um, handle Zoom calls. All of all of us mamas are in, and dads are in the same position. Some of you have started school um, already, but it's basically, I had to choose if we were gonna stick with our school district or if I was gonna homeschool the kids on my own. This, this so many videos, guys, so many, so many things I wanna to chat to you, chat to you about. Um, I just miss you. So I chose after a lot of prayer in like the very, very end of August to homeschool the kids. I just made my anxiety too high when I would think about <sighs> Zoom calls tracking Zoom schedules with three different kids and a little one who is in first grade. I don't need, I don't, I don't, bless you teachers because I, I don't know how these little ones are supposed to, you know, they're all about the fun that the teacher creates in the classroom and uh, first grade. <laughs> so anyway, I withdrew the kids from the school district and um, I'm going rogue and I'm homeschooling on my own. So shout out to those mamas who are it doesn't matter if you're paving your own way or if you're doing the school zooms either way it it it's hard it just it it is hard i'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that oh it, um it's wonderful yeah i'm sure we'll have amazing stories this is what i'm saying to myself we'll have amazing stories come next june we will uh i'm confident of that but there'll be a lot of hard days and we're going to need each other so that is that. So we sold our house. I got a job, then gave up the job, then uh, moved into an apartment, uh, three bedroom, two bath. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful apartment. I'm so happy. I've never lived on my own before ever. Uh, so this is exciting. And decided to homeschool, dodged some fires, uh, was displaced, evacuated, and now we are here. So there is my update since, I don't even, I think it was April, I posted my video on divorce and um, how that's going. We are still married, living separately, and I'm not going to go into a ton of detail just because I'm so forward focused and not, if you have questions, you can send me um, a message, but it, 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 we're still going through the process. I don't know. I don't know when the process will be done. Um, but I have received a lot of your emails and your messages, and I'm so grateful for uh, most of them. Any negative ones just went in a delete bin, to be honest, because I don't need that in my life right now. I don't think any of us need extra criticism, um, critiquing, and, and negativity. So, um, but other than that, so many people have said, just come back to us on Facebook. So I thought I would make this video, kind of just give you guys updates. I was hoping to take you along to every stage, like today's my first day of work and uh, we're packing and we got offers on our house and um, here's my empty apartments. And then 
with my furniture. I ordered some furniture and spoiled myself. Uh, when my furniture came, I wanted to show it to you guys and do this big reveal. There's just so many things that uh, I had in my heart. And then reality was like, I just want to nap. <laughs> I just want to take a nap. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's the calm. Uh, I don't know. Probably not very calm, but uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good with accepting what has happened um, and, and dealing with reality instead of just dodging it, uh, which is sitting with my emotions and accepting that this is the way that I feel. I think overwhelmingly where I want to go from here is I have had so many women reach out to me these are hard. This is hard and I don't know how to handle it. Reach out to me who are going through similar situations or know a friend dealing with um, personality disorders and childhood wounds and scars and stuff. And, and it, I usually um, in those conversations in tears because I just, it hurts so much to know that there's other people out there going through this. Um, but then it also hurts on the flip side how many people have been divorced as well and how much I have in common with a lot of the population. Um, but God is good and he is carrying me dark circles and all no makeup. Um, he is carrying me. He is providing the words to say to my girls when they need to be comforted. Uh, he's putting people in my path to help me and love me. Um, you know, everything's a challenge with, this pandemic right now, uh, but it won't be forever. God assured me that it will not last forever. This is only a temporary thing, um, but he's growing us and he's growing me and I like who I'm becoming and I don't know what that looks like, but it's a calmer, happier version of myself who is more selfless and serving. And um, yeah, so that's, that is how I am doing in a nutshell. I reached out to Facebook. I'm like, I want to come back, but I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't even know what to say. And most people just said, we just miss you. That's all. So um, thank you for the prayers. Uh, there's definitely a lot more good days than bad days now, um, which is such a blessing to be able to look back on my journal. If you're someone who's going through a similar battle, or you can feel it coming, um, get yourself a journal. This little apartment comes with a busy road, so you might hear cars. Um, but get yourself a journal and start writing down your thoughts. Just anything. Like, this is just a 10 cent, oh, I think it's our landscapers. This is just a 10 cent school notebook that I got in the school supply section. So write down your thoughts. Just get it on paper because it is amazing to look back and see what you were thinking, where you were at, and where you're going. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to say hi. Sometime I'll show you this cute little uh, apartment. It's adorable. It is really, really cute, and I really love it. And that, so behind me, this is like my homeschool stuff. Okay, so that cabinet was $6.99 at Goodwill. No joke. It has cane in it and everything. Um, so here is my dining room wall and that is my homeschool stuff. And we are just, I placed my order. I'm just waiting for it to come. Um, my apartment is so cute and I love it. I love it so much. Um, it's been a good change. It's been a good change for me. So anyway, that's all. Let me know what your questions are and if they're uplifting to the rest of us and I will go ahead and share them um, any negativity just nobody has time for that not not in 2020 not during this whole pandemic so anyway you guys it's good to talk to you I'll be on here soon I promise I won't make you wait three months because um, I do want to talk homeschooling and what I picked for a curriculum and just things like that. I think it would be really fun. So have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.